the single off our new record, Disarm the Descent. The song is called In Due Time. Uh, cool thing about this is uh, when you watch the video, it's our actual crew from the road, you know, our, our guys who set up our guitars and make us sound good. They're in the video hanging out with us. It's just a really, it was a really fun sort of casual shoot. I uh, wanted to capture the, the essence of the band as we are as a sort of a family on the road. So uh, it's just us in a room hanging out with our buddies uh, shooting a video. I know what I'm capable of, and a lot of the people who aren't familiar with what I've been doing over the years, because clearly my bands are very underground in comparison to Killswitch. It's nice to sort of be able to demonstrate what I'm able to do, and I'm really proud of the record. I think for a situation that we're in as a band, it's a, a really good effort to put out an album like this, because I feel like it does touch upon what Killswitch has been doing the past 10 years, very melodically bringing the band in a different direction, and then equal amounts of roots, you know, the stuff that I'm sort of known for, I really feel like it sort of meets it halfway. So hopefully listeners will, will hear that I'm sort of doing that purposely. I didn't want to write an elaborate Just Breathing Part 2, and I didn't want to write something that was so melodic that it wasn't true to who I was known as in the band. So yeah, I'm really proud of it, and hopefully people dig it. I write for the particular parts, and then I write for the songs. Oftentimes I don't realize the stark contrast until the song's done and I'm listening to it and the chorus kicks into that song I'm like, wow, that went like from this direction to that direction. And to me it's like, you know what, cool, like it happens naturally. It's not like I'm sitting there going, ah, I know what I'm going to do to make this catchy and radio friendly. Nothing at all like that. It's just I heard those, those guitars kick in on that chorus and like this needs something anthem, you know, an anthem something to, uh, to soar above it. I mean, in my other bands, there was melodic parts here and there, but just, just terrible, like, uh, in retrospect, terrible stuff. Uh, and Adam is, you know, musically trained perfectionist. He's, a, he's got a perfect pitch ear, like, he's amazing. And me, I'm, a, you know, again, punk hardcore guy that comes from yelling and screaming, so I knew what I wanted to do, I aspired. Like, I heard Faith No More's Angel Dust, and I'm like, that is amazing, what that guy is doing putting his melody over these parts that you wouldn't necessarily, in my head, think to do something melodic. I knew I wanted to do it, I just didn't know how to do it. In the first record, the self-title, but also in Leverage's Breathing, that was really when I started to learn how to make it sound good, sort of be in tune. Because coming from hardcore music, it's all about the emotion. So a lot of hardcore records, if you listen to a lot of early hardcore records, they are so off-key, flat, sharp, it just sounds terrible. But when you're young, it's all about the emotion and being honest, and that rawness is kind of part of it. I've been riding my bike about 20 to 30 miles a day, getting my cardiovascular strong. Uh, it's really important so I can do what I feel like doing on the stage, moving around, and also sing. So doing vocal training, uh, drinking lots of hot tea and whiskey, and getting my, my Z's, and hanging out with my family, soaking that up as much as I can before I get going. I wish um, there was a flight leaving in a half hour for me to go on tour. And again, I think it has a lot to do with the guys in the band. We're just brothers, we have a great time together. And then knowing your limits as far as like, we don't tour for like two months straight. You've gotta kinda like, not burn yourself out. Number one, our age, and number two, for you mentally to be excited and to get out there and give it your best, you can't be burnt out, so. We try to take breaks in between stuff, so. It's just a matter of getting out there and do it and figuring out what works for you and what doesn't. Yeah.